Hello? Alright, Kev, shush now. Shh. <laughs> so, last section. Traditionally the best of the night. And we open with me. <coughs> I turned 40 last year. I'm really not sure how I feel about that. Lost my mood ring at my birthday party, so I'm not really sure how I feel about anything. <laughs> when you reach a milestone like 40, you kind of have to take a look at yourself. And I'm a single, childless man with a beer gut squeezed into a t-shirt with superheroes on it. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I do have matching pyjama bottoms. <laughs> Although the packaging called them lounge pants. So I don't feel so bad on the days when I don't bother getting changed from bed. I also have matching socks and underwear. My underwear drawer looks like an eight-year-old. <laughs> but uh, I'm 40, I'm getting old, my are getting younger. I'm thinking I'm going to have to find a nice woman, settle down, maybe have some kids. I'm getting to the age where I will need someone to look after me pretty soon. I'm starting to have, <laughs> I'm starting to have falls. <laughs> Mainly at the pub. <laughs> and on the way back from the pub and the next day after I've drank. <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of halfway hoping that maybe a 20-year-old would show up on my doorstep looking for their dad. <laughs> then, I wanna, then I won't really have to put any work in for those 20 years. <laughs> and it's not entirely impossible either, because I have had sex. <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> and, and once or twice more recently too around about 10 or 12 years ago. <laughs> I've tried the dating sites as well. I couldn't even get a response on Borrow My Dog, <laughs> which was obviously quite depressing. <laughs> Shut up, Kev. <laughs> unless, you want me to brush, unless you want me to brush my arse with your toothbrush when we get home again. <laughs> and yes, I have done that once or twice. <laughs> He's made me lose my place now. Nice one, Kev. I was doing great there. <laughs> so my own father, speaking of fatherhood and children, my own father was quite mean, really. He once told me I was like someone who wanked themselves stupid. True story, true story. I was only 13 at the time as well. <laughs> so to be fair, I'd barely started. <laughs> but I have more than made up for that by now. <laughs> but I like to think you'd be proud of me now, watching down from above, locked in the attic, fed on leftovers. <laughs> Who's stupid now, Dad? <laughs> Hey, who's stupid now? <laughs> but so, uh, as I mentioned, a fat man squeezed into a superhero t-shirt. I am a massive geek. The most expensive item of clothing I own is a Spider-Man costume. I spent £200 on when I was drunk. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. I myself and my friend were scrolling through eBay. Saw it initially, turned it down, had a few pints. Friend looks at me and says, once you've worn it, you can sell it. And I thought, yeah, I could. But the voice at the back of my head said, you're not fucking gonna do it. <laughs> and no, I haven't. <laughs> I wore it to a friend's child's birthday one year. And yes, I was invited. But there's certain levels of geek as well, aren't there? Because everybody's a geek these days. I was there before it was cool. And I say cool, but it's not, not all forms of geek are cool. You sort of start with your train spotters, with their anoraks and notebooks and pack lunches. And that's not so cool. That's not so cool either. I'm trying, I'm trying to perform here, Eden. <laughs> 
Then right at the top, you've got your mus musicians, so especially ones who play guitars. A little bit underneath them, I say underneath because obviously I'll get laid as often as someone who plays guitar. There's me and my sort, and around the middle, not traditionally thought of as geeks, but definitely geeky and very mainstream, you've got your football fans. <laughs> See, this man right here is a good example. You'll dress the part, you'll, you'll travel for it. Now me, I'll travel to the Comic Con in my Spider-Man costume. <laughs> but when I get there, I won't pick a fight with Batman. <laughs> I won't gather a load of friends together and get dressed as the Avengers and go to a and go to a pub where the Justice League drink to fight them. <laughs> but you'll get you'll get Millwall and West Ham going out, and they're not going to sit down and play nice, are they? <laughs> Kev, can you heckle me again? I'm struggling here. <laughs> Uh, he really threw me off there with that first tackle. All right, I only asked for it once. <laughs> it's like I've got a ringer in the crowd in case things didn't go well now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but the, the one story from the birthday party, the, my friend had also hired a Ninja Turtle. And I should say, I was, I was paid in drink, this man was paid in money. <laughs> But the interesting thing was, my £200 Spider-Man costume looks like I've just stepped off the screen, but this man stepped in there looking like a cartoon, with no peripheral vision at all, couldn't see where he was going, he had a handler walking in there, stepping on children like Godzilla or something. I had to leap in there and save the day, because I might not be able to fight Batman, and I don't think Batman's any worse than me, but I can fight a Ninja Turtle, and I will take him down, mainly because he had no peripheral vision. <laughs> and I was the talk of the playground on the Monday after the birthday party too. <laughs> you don't often get to see Spider-Man beat the hell out of a Ninja Turtle after all. <laughs> and on this occasion of being talk of the playground, the police did not have to be called. <laughs> I'm waiting for these lights to flash me now because I think I'm out of material. <laughs> well in that case I'm waiting for one of those shepherd's crooks to come and pull me off. Thank you very much. You've been <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no.